Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy. Welcome to another video on the channel. Welcome to another review. Um, we have one of the few left that we have to do in terms of icons. Yes, you're probably wondering why is Christian Eriksen playing center back? And to that, guys, I don't have an answer for you. But anyways, guys, today we are going to be testing out uh, the main man, the myth, the legend. Who should we play other center back, by the way? We're going to need another center back here. Uh, Davinson Sanchez, boom. Uh, we're going to be testing out Rivaldo, right? This is a good card. I've already played a few games with him, and he is pretty solid. Um, I like him. So we're going to get you guys some foot champions gameplay today with Rivaldo. He, uh, he's going to be a guy in this review that is it worth it. He does cost a lot more uh, in terms of the tokens that you guys will be using for him. He's going to cost you a fair bit. Um, when you go in and look at the tokens, uh, Rivaldo is going to end up costing you uh, 15 tokens. So... It's about the same as a Prime King, which I really rate. Like, initially, I would already tell you I'm taking Prime King over this guy. Uh, you know, I don't know about right. I know that I'd probably take him, actually, over a lot of these dudes. Um, you know, Balak's probably a little bit better of a card. Crespo. So, I already know initially. Like, I, off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is not my favorite selection. But he does have a pretty good card outside of one thing. And that one thing is a two-star weak foot. Now, on the market, this brother is really expensive. He's 600. This brother. All right, Nick. Relax, bro. This player... Is very expensive. He's like 600 to 700 K. So price wise, you know, if you're really interested in him, it's something to consider. His middle card is about 920. And usually when his prime is out, it's always about a mil. Rivaldo just always sells in foot. I don't really know why, but he always sells. He's popular. I think it would be really cool if this car had five star skills. Unfortunately, he does not have five star skills. Now, uh, Brazil links, high, low work rates, some stuff to like there. Two star weak foot with four star skills. So the guy's going to be able to skill pretty nicely. Um, four star is, is pretty, pretty standard for the players in the attack that I need. Uh, two star weak foot is very, very bad. Um, not something I love. The only player I've ever loved with two star weak foot is Mo Salah in FIFA 18. That's the only player ever. So, you know, it's, it's tough, man. It's definitely tough. He's got 86 pace, 87 shooting, 85 passing, 88 dribbling with 76 physical. Um, and then you look at some of the in games, the man has 85 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. He's got 85 finishing to go with 84 attack positioning. So the finishing and positioning are good. Shot power is pretty decent. Long shots are very, very good. Uh, volleys and penalties are okay. Vision, crossing, free kick accuracy, short passing, long passing. It's all there. Um, 88 agility, 77 balance, 86 reactions, 90 ball control, 88 dribbling, and 87 composure. So some of the stats that I do really like is the high agility, the high reactions, the high ball control, the high dribbling, and the high composure. All those are looking really solid. And then you look a little bit more into him. He's got 73 jumping. 83 stamina, 79 strength. So it's a pretty well-rounded card. If you said, if you told me that this card would have four-star weak, four-star weak foot, I would tell you this is a fantastic card. The problem is he has that two-star weak foot, and that's going to set him back just a little bit as a player, I think, in this game. I'm not saying you shouldn't select him, but I'm saying I don't think he's going to be the best option because of that weak foot. Now, the cool part about Rivaldo, besides his in-game stats that you guys can see that are good, the cool part about the card is you can play him in a lot of positions. You can play him out wide. You can play him in the middle. You can really play him anywhere you wanted to. It's just got to be on the attacking side of the ball, which I like. You can play him at right mid to cut him for left shot, uh, lefty finesses because he is a lefty. You can play him at left mid for the cross goal or near post. You can play him centrally. So it's very versatile in terms of the card and where you could put, uh, you know, where you could use him. We're going to use him with a hunter, guys, because the hunter is going to give him basically the biggest boost on the pace and the shooting. And for me this year, I just value pace a lot, man. I think pace is really important. Uh, and then we're gonna make sure that we give him the proper manager as well, uh, because obviously that's important. The cool part about these videos right now is that I'm gonna be able to do this in Foot Champions for you guys, which is really good. Uh, it's way better, in my opinion, to do these reviews in, in Foot Champs than Rivals. Oh, Rivals is okay, uh, but Rivals is really sweaty, and you don't know if somebody's going for an objective. You really don't know what's going on half the time. So I like that we're able to do these in Foot Champs. The way we're gonna line up today, guys, that you guys will see it at least, we've got a 4 2 3 1, and we're gonna have Rivaldo as that middle cam. We're gonna play him in the middle, and then instruction wise, I'm actually not gonna touch anything. I'm gonna let it chill. You know, I don't really care. Whatever happens, happens. He can. We're gonna let him roam, we're gonna let him drift. We've got Pogba and Wijnaldum to go under him, then we've got Mars and Walcott uh, out wide. So we got Aubameyang up top, we got Mars and Walcott out wide, and then we have Pogba and Wijnaldum as the two defensive mids. We've got Angelino, Davinson Sanchez, Van Dyke, and Trent Arnold. Uh, to go with if you guys enjoyed the review today just drop a thumbs up man and again i'm gonna always plug it if you guys are you know looking for uh the playlist there's a playlist on the channel um so you guys can go and look at that there's a ton of cards that basically i think you guys will find relevant you know that you guys are looking into if you maybe haven't selected something i don't know now we are five and oh uh in foot champions so you know the levels of opponent should be pretty respectable i'm not going to say amazing but i think respectable uh, is a good way to put it um, so that's what we're up against today. The first team has Scream Ozil, PK, Wambisaka, uh, Longley, Ter Stegen, uh, De Jong, Guedes, Suarez, and Usman Dembele. So 
Not not the best team because I think the attack lacks with Guedes and Suarez. Dembele's very good. Guardiola, De Jong, very good. Ozil's shaky. His strongest part about his team is definitely his uh, his two center backs and his goalkeeper. So let's see how the first game goes. Now we can check on the lineup. Mark Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. PK starts alongside Clement Longley at the back, and they're starting interestingly with three. Four Should be a goal. That's not great. That is not great right there. I did not like that he didn't finish that. You know, that's that's not a great look. Oh, another post, but that was a pretty impressive long shot. 90 long shots there. Two posts to start off the video. That's not too good, guys. Good shot. Didn't get it to go there. Not the most makeable angle, but not a bad shot. What a finish from Aubameyang. Are you kidding me? Oh, my Lord. That was crazy. Great, great finish from Aubameyang there. I love that one. First time Shafiq ball weirdly hopped up, but he got some dip on that volley. Wow. We got some defensive awareness coming in from Rivaldo off the kickoff. You know, stopping our opponent. We appreciate it, Rivaldo. Aubameyang. An opportunity here. There's some space to work the ball into. The, that's the problem right there. You see, guys, I get onto his right foot, and it's like you always have to try to think about how you're going to get it back onto the left. Whereas I feel like sometimes, for example, like I have Griezmann on my main team right now, and with Griezmann, sometimes even when I do get on his weak foot, like I feel okay sometimes shooting it, but on Rivaldo, I just think there's no way. I'm like, there's not even a chance that I'm going to try it. One back for the opponent. And he's decided to play it to his teammate for a short corner. Great pass. Oh, Bami missed it wide. That was a great pass. Well done. Can we get a finish? Oh my God, Paul Pogba missed. Rivaldo's got that playmaking ability. That's the thing, though, that, you know, it's definitely noticeable. His passing is very solid. Oh, that was so close off the set piece, man. Damn. I, I can't switch it back to, like, I cannot shoot that on his on his weak foot, which is the worst part about this card. But not everything he's tried has come off. Quite a tight first half, wasn't it, between these two teams? Come on. Let's go, Rivaldo. What a goal. What a play from Aubameyang as well. We go up 2-1. Uh, thanks to their, I guess, double efforts there. That was a very nice play uh, between the two. So, nice little nice little advantage there for us. Rivaldo. Oh, Ter Stegen making the crazy scene. Oh, my God. Finish that. Let's go. Rivaldo, man. Two great finishes for us, man. Puts us up three to one. Let's get it. Wow, fair play to the opponent. What a goal, man. That was a really nice goal. Damn. Can he finish? Oh, my God. Ter Stegen is broken, bro. Ter Stegen is broken. That was almost a really nice play. We actually almost get that to go on his weak foot, surprisingly. No way Aubameyang's being caught right now. Goal. Let's go, Aubameyang. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Taking PK to town, giving us that 4-2 advantage, and this one is 100% going to be a W. Oh, it's just phenomenal. It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal from Paul Pogba to Walcott to Aubameyang. Gosh, what a great finish of the game, man. Oh, we're not done yet, boys. We are not done yet. We are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Rivaldo 
Just given that extra sauce to Obami. God, this Obami is so freaking good. 6-2 is going to be the final result of game number one, guys. We have game number two uh, coming up next. What do we got game number two? Johan Cruyff FC. Ducore, that's a sweaty team. We're going to take care of them, though. Don't you guys worry. We will take care of this guy. Don't worry, man. I got you guys. We got this. We got this. We got this, boys. I'm telling you. Trust me. We got this. Rivaldo. Let's go, Rivaldo. What a play, man. Yo, I'm, I'm really starting to like this dude. I am. He's good. He's like one-footed, but he's good. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Two nothing, boys. In uh in game number two. Vinaldo. Mares. Now with Obamayang. And providing width. Might be a chance here. Oh, he chose he chose to shoot that on his weak foot. I don't know why. But is what it is. What a freaking goal, man. Damn. Damn, Rivaldo, man. This guy is schooling on people right now. Jeez. On the weak foot, Rivaldo near post. On the damn weak foot. Let's freaking go. 4 nothing, boys. Goal. Let's go. Five nothing, boys. Five nothing at halftime. That is a rage quit, ladies and gentlemen. That is a rage quit. So, that is going to bring us to the point in the video where we have to sit here and say, hey, what do we think of this card? Now, Rivaldo, I think if you are a person that is okay with a two star weak foot, that this is a fantastic card to select. Other than the two-star weak foot, I really didn't have any problems with him. I just have to be honest with you guys. Other than that two-star weak foot, there was no problems. And to be honest, he did score on his weak foot. So it's not like he was missing wide open shots on his weak foot. I did feel like I had to kind of compensate and always be on his left. But we scored probably like five or six or seven goals today in the video. So in terms of rating and like for the value and all things considered, I'll give him in the low eights. Probably like an 8.2, 8.3. Now why I wouldn't value him as a 9, for example, is because... He costs a lot of tokens, and for around the player selection, around that token, I would say, like, if you're going to go 16, then you might as well, or 15, you might as well go for the Bootrat, who's a little bit higher, or a Zanetti, potentially. I just think that this would be an amazing option if he was 8 or 9, you know? If he was valued around that Nesta, I would say, go for it, guys. But because he isn't, I struggle to feel like that this is a card that I would say, go for it. The only problem with the card is really the weak foot, and I know some people in the comments are going to say, Nick, you just scored 8 goals, and then why are you giving an 8.2, and you give Nesta, like, a 9 or something, right? The reason for that, guys, is you have to factor in the value and you have to understand how long are you going to use this card. And I'm worried that you wouldn't use this card for the longest time. And it's a card that I think a lot of people did because last year he got that prime icon SPC early on and everybody did it. And then they moved past them really quick because of the weak foot, right? It's easy to replace somebody who has that low weak foot. But I enjoyed him, man. He wasn't a bad card in this review at all. Um, and it was definitely worth trying out because he was solid. He wasn't a bad card. So... Definitely can finish, definitely can has good movement. I think the, the weaknesses with the card is the weak foot and a little bit stiff on the ball. I think he's a little bit stiff uh, at times. I did notice that. But other than that, a very solid card. So thank you guys for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys in a video soon. Peace out.